signed it and wrote dates on it as electoral results for the P for the Labour Party to prove its case. Now, if the PDP is proving their case, fine, it is a democratic entity. If APC is proving their case, fine, it is a democratic entity. But there is no judgment that can be given that will not be founded on the provisions of the law. Section 1, text 7, subsection 1, paragraph, paragraph D states that nobody who has paid a fine on basis of dishonesty should be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Section 494 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act states that even a forfeiture is a fine. It says that nobody who forges a result should be president. If these things have been proven by the court, we have results that shows that these results were formulated, were forged. So what else do you want from us? We've deposited enough evidences to go in our favor. And we are hoping that justice Nigeria is, a, Nigeria is a failed state. Nigeria is a failed state. So, yes, simple because we have seen the realities that the the election did not move free and fair according to what we believe. But the so-called judiciary and that neck have manipulated everything. And after that, minus that, even the president himself don't even consider the masses. So all we know is that we believe in God, but I'm praying that military should take over. You too are praying for Yes, yes, because if you watch now, the refinery that we are in this country was built by the military. All the whole federal highways was constructed by military. Now, what are we to enjoy well, since we enter democracy? It's zero. zero. So, so, we need military. What are the palliatives, the, the provisions no, 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 they've no, no, made? No, 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 they are just for themselves. They are not given to the poor masses. They are using it only for themselves. So, Nigeria is a scam now. It is a scam. Guys. Everything is fake. I'm, well, I'm very, very disappointed. I'm very, very heavily disappointed because. Uh, when we start hearing uh, army, uh, soldier, uh, police giving us a, a warning that we should not act anyhow there, any violence, we know that there's something's wrong somewhere. So I already played the like, listen, look at Chief George then, saying there's nothing like a federal capital, 25 percent or this kind of a thing. So uh, all I would also to say that it's already there, it's already there. So when they leave Jagaba. Let him let him be there now because there's nothing they can say. There's nothing to say. People are calling for military intervention. Do you follow support? Uh, well, the only thing I, which I mean, like, what I'm saying about that is that I think there's another judgment. It's never, it's never, uh, never yet over. So let's say we'll hear the last final day now. So. At least now you are not happy. I thought, uh, if I know where to, I'm not, if I, I'm not happy at all, at all, at all. But as Nigeria things now, uh, I will have to drink water and uh, cool the, the, uh, the. Not INEC, it's INEC that gives the, the results that put, bring Tunimbu in. But the truth about it is that me, as a person, I know immediately somebody is in office. It's not easy to say all these things because I'm in control. Because it's the incumbent, uh, the individual, the president. Yes, power. that's exactly. So he's using an executive power to I manipulate. Know, but him. I know, I know that it's not good. That I want them to change the constitution. When you want me, or they say you are the one, and I refuse, they have to settle it. But before they swear one in, not when you swear in one, then later you come to say we we'll go to court. I'm on seats. When I'm on seats, I will not ask. I will do everything to succeed, even if I'm the one that I want. But that is not my problem. My problem is that the president should please help us in this four issue, instead of buying us rice. Because I saw them, they said they're sharing rice. Entire local government. Entire local government. Here, I'm not from here, and they are sharing rice. The rice cannot reach me. But I'm buying food anywhere I am in Nigeria. Let them put the sauce in the bag so that we can buy food at a cheaper rate. It can reach everybody. But this one of... Um, Sharing rice is child is childish. We are not hungry in this country at all. You understand what I mean? Yes. Uh, one can buy rice anywhere. And are we going to eat the rice for eight years? Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. We can't eat the rice for eight years, and they cannot share us rice for eight years. You understand what I mean? Please, we don't need the rice in this country. We just need good governance. Also, the Nigerians are climbing for military intervention. What transpired in the uh, Republic and Gabon of recent, Burkina Faso, Guinea, yeah. in most West Africa countries, militaries, young guys have taken over. Yeah. Will you want the same thing for Nigeria? Well, you know, this Nigeria, we are not up to that. You, I don't want the youth to take over, our military to take over. 
I would like our governors to change their system of because uh, yes, because uh, in any country that are youth or uh, whatever they are ruling or uh, military, you know, the peace don't normally be there. In Nigeria, we enjoy peace. Constitution. I think our constitution is one of the things that is frustrating this country. A situation where president, sitting president, a president will be so, so after election, they sworn in before electoral, before a, 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 a court process. How can you get victory? Imagine me, I'll be sitting as, as, as a president, then you are outside, how can you get victory? The judges, everybody is my subject in that moment because they are working under my, yes, they are working under my instructions. I may fire, I may hire. You understand? Just like the military is happening in Nigeria, military, the military, the sack the service. The the, yes. So we need to amend our constitution so that after electoral process, before before inauguration, the course process is supposed to be done and completed before swearing in. Or oh, your thoughts on your thoughts on military intervention. Military intervention of Nigeria which? wants military inter intervention. What transpired in Niger, Gabon, should take place in Nigeria? Okay. If if we can get, if a military can come in, we'll be happy. You'll Me. be happy as an individual. I'll be happy as an individual because nobody sees what is happening in this country and said the the politicians are doing well. See, even if Peter becomes, he may not get it right, unless. Unless he's going to use the people that are not these current politicians, because they are they are biased, they are they are they are corrupt already. To the grassroots. To the grassroots. So I think we need military to come now and flush flush this system completely and bring fresh people. Then we can go back to democracy. I think then we can get it right. I think format is the right word. The system needs to be format, clean. Okay, the system needs to be format. Formatted. Formatted. Yeah. Just like what happened in the, um, um, what is it called, um, Ghana. There was massacre. There was massacre. So the people that remain have to sit up and do the right thing. Today, Ghana, Ghana currency is higher than our currency. Even Ghana too are clamoring for military. Okay, if they are started seeing the wrong one, they, I know they will go back. We are not there anyway. This is Nigeria. I think we are talking. Uh, but you are not happy with the uh, tribunal ruling? No, no, no average Nigerian will be completely happy. Because considering what is happening now, what has been happening in our democratic system, we needed someone because people be made promises. You understand? I will do this, I will do that, I will do this, I will do that. But even this current president, you cannot say this is what he told us. Do you feel we cannot hold this government accountable for their words? Because Tinubu made promises and now it seems like everything changed when he came into power. And Nigeria is promising like three times hardship to the previous administration. Uh -huh. How do we hold this government accountable? We cannot hold them accountable because they are where, to. where will you start? Is it in judiciary? It's in constitution too. judiciary. Is it in is it judiciary? They own judiciary. Although we are running three system of government, but in Nigeria is not functioning. Judiciary, legislative, and a, a executive. Yes. But it's not working. The executive says it all. It the, yes. It's not working because even they talk about the judges go there, you see, you see a, a Yoruba man siding a, a, a Yoruba president and all, all of that. All of us is buying the same market. Uh, the president have come to stay now. We are into it. Whether you are IPC or Labour or PDP, you understand? All of us will buy the market and we accept it. We've seen Asari Doku born in Abuja yesterday with his boys. You know, for praying for Tinobu that the mandate should be restored back to Tinobu and eventually God says, What will you say about people like Asari Dokubo? Uh, you, know? you know, in this life, everybody, everybody, anywhere, if you, if anywhere you are looking for something, that is where your interest is. You understand? So, like me now, as I'm going for my business, I normally go where I get something. So that's exactly what uh, Asari Dokubo is doing. Yes, now. For his, uh, benefactor. Yes, now. Is... yes, you should know now. All right, all 
all right. So people are clamoring for military intervention. Nigerians, what transpired in Niger, Gabon of recent, and Burkina Faso should also uh, happen in Nigeria. What's your well, thoughts? eventually, as I normally tell you, anyhow they do it is acceptable by us. Whether any how they do it is acceptable. The rain is falling on every everybody's uh, roof. I know that is always my tribunal where they conclude yesterday. Mm, well, they have done. They, they have. They, they felt they have done their best. Yes. But from the outlook of things, Nigerians are not satisfied with the conclusion of the. As an individual, you yourself, you are not satisfied. With the... Well, as an individual. Uh, I don't think they did their best. The best have not been achieved. You believe our judiciaries are compromised? Well, if they say so, it's individual uh, belief, yes. What is your thought on military intervention, sir? Military intervention, it, it all depends on what the military have in mind. You support it? Well, I, if I support or I don't support, yeah. it has no stake yeah. in the issue. So it all depends on them.